What is a glaze diver? Someone who knowingly or unknowingly glazes over these small or big issues and how divers too in defense of the game in response to someone else. Glaze divers often make comments that are very hyperbolic in nature and not rooted in any reality of the game. Example, you just want to one shot everything when a player simply wants the liberator to do the liberator to do more damage. Y'all just can't get good. Play cover more if you're dying often when folks are behind cover and get ragged all the way from it from an explosion that happened on the other side of the cover. Glaze divers are afraid of change, even though they get super excited for any patch notes that the good ones will have a bunch of changes in them. So it's a self-defeating prophecy in the first place. But they'll refer to the folks that have ideas of change, feedback, critique, criticism, that is in some cases valid, as having a skill issue. In almost all cases, the diver who cried skill issue is usually the worst player. And I don't make the rules here. This is General Brash's third law of logic. There's no pleasing the entire community as if the game isn't making horrendous changes on top of the good ones that people are getting annoyed with. Well, they made a bunch of good changes. What about the bad ones? Those exist too. There are numerous examples of players saying that the game could never change in the way it has almost to the T because of random excuses. Well, Health Average is a team game, so you'll always have to have an anti-tank player to kill Battle Titans. You should never be able to use the auto cannon to damage Battle Titans on their armor. And now we can. And it's a lot cooler that we can do that. It's almost like going the monster hunting route genre-wise is a good thing for Health Average too. But Glaze Divers don't want players to have those thoughts. They're not for the betterment of the game. They're anchors. Anchors that hold the game back from positive change. And Helldivers 2 has a lot of gosh darn anchors. They gotta figure it out. We gotta shut down the Krispy Kreme factory or something. Because the Krusty Krab pizza is for you and me, but the Krispy Kreme glazers is not for Helldivers 2. Get it out. Do something about it. And many of these glazers are hidden amongst us. The ones that spread this propaganda are content creators. They're the people who can't see what's right for their very eyes. And they be spreading the nonsense. Well, it's actually really good, guys. This, this thing is really good. When it's, it's not. The content creators are essentially the Krispy Kreme employees, and the glaze divers are just the ones that are buying the glaze. They subscribe to the idea. You can look back four, five, and six months ago and see the creators who were glazing the game beyond belief, then changed their minds a month ago, and now are back on the glaze train currently. If you simply enjoy Hell Divers 2, none of this applies to you. But if you try and make a public statement, talking down to folks that have grievances with the game, rightfully so. You're a glaze diver, bro. I'm sorry. Unless you can articulate why it doesn't make sense in a, in a way that makes sense itself. It can't just be get good and skill issue. That, that applies to the smallest amount of complaints that I see, at least. I'm also not saying that folks have an obligation to talk about these problems. They don't. I happen to because I care about the game, and lo a lot of what I've said has happened. You know what I mean? Why is Doe making this post in the first place? I made a joke community post and had a joke live stream and people got really heated. And some folks are a bit clueless on what I'm getting at. The game hasn't been in this good of a state since launch. That's not really a compliment because the game still isn't as good as it was on launch because launch it had a lot less of the hidden changes that we still experience. Stratagem bouncing off REM structures, hell pods colliding with invisible walls in the air, the AI patrol changes and whatnot, we still deal with that and the increased damage taken. The game is better in other aspects, but still has the same issues from launch. The devs are listening to feedback and continuing to improve the game. They're still making the changes that don't need to be happening because they lack the understanding that they need to make the game as good as it should be. And most players are loving it, and the community is mostly back into the fun role-playing state before the nerfs. So it's understandable why people are glazing it right now, they're enjoying the game. The classic case of some good outweighs a lot of bad, even though we're still dealing with a lot of the bad changes they made in the past, to this day. I don't understand how players just look past that. I can see the good changes, I really can. I appreciate them. I just don't appreciate the persistent bad changes and the new ones being added on to that list that are in the same vein as the old ones. The HMG nerfs do not make any sense. There's a major component of glaze diving I forgot. They'll often mention, go play a different game if you don't like this one, and then bring up the most generic game imaginable. Apex, Call of Duty, League of Legends. It's those three almost all the time. 
Do you guys not play video games? Do you not know there's more than just those main mainstream video games? I've played tons. That's why I feel the way I feel. That's why I think the way I do, because I have more experience. I've been proven right with the ideas I give for the game and how it has a positive impact. Because right here, yeah, sorry, 80k players during a weekday would disagree with this. This is a pretty big spike after they made a bunch of changes that I suggested. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day.